This podcast is an improvised parody and has absolutely no affiliation with Marvel Entertainment, the Walt Disney Company, or any other associates or official candidates. Thank you and welcome to 20 Sided Stories. Back in 2008, billionaire Tony Stark built an iron suit and the world was forever changed. The Avengers first assembled in 2012 to fight off an alien attack in New York City. They won, but the scale of threats only increased as did the casualties. In 2016, the United Nations created the Sokovia Accords in response. This agreement puts the Avengers and all enhanced individuals under supervision. It splits off the team ideologically, causing infighting, a civil war. The conflict was never truly resolved. Which brings us to 2018. Meet Masha Morova, superhero name Roulette. Masha is about to graduate high school and move on to college and adulthood. Hello? Am I speaking to Masha Marova? That is I. Hello, Masha. <laughs> Hello. I'm overseeing the vetting process in the September Foundation. <gasps> oh, yes. From Stark Industries yes, for yes, Young yes. Prodigies, yes. Masha has six completely different powers, but she can only use one at a time and at random. She was orphaned at a very young age from Russian parents with no idea of their whereabouts, why they abandoned her, or where her powers came from. She floated around the foster care system until adopted by the Kleins. It says here you have two sisters. Yes, I do. Lily and Rose. I am the oldest. Uh, Lily is the second oldest. She's in eighth grade right now. They probably both look up to you quite a bit, don't they? Yeah. I hope that I can be a good role model to them. Meet Lily Klein. Superhero name, Bloodhound. At least it will be. Lily doesn't have any powers beyond being an angsty eighth grader. But all that's going to change. Lily, wake up! Lily! What? You fell asleep on your desk again? I was um, examining the molecular structure of the desk, and therefore was still doing my work. Soon to graduate, Lily hopes to get into a special music program playing guitar at Hamilton High. But right now, she's stuck with bass clarinet. Don't forget to empty your spit valve right in front of Greg so he slips. Okay. Tip, tip it upside down. Ah, that's a splash. Mm. That was gnarly. You got a lot of spit in your fur, little man. Yeah, I salivate a lot. Yep. I have. Okay. I have generalized. Nope. Nope. We're good. Okay. We can stop there. You can't stray too far from Avengers talk without mentioning Shield, formerly led by Nick Fury. The Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division maintains national and global security threats, especially those regarding enhanced individuals. In 2014, Nazi organization Hydra infiltrated and attempted to take over. They mostly failed. But S.H.I.E.L.D. has never since been the same. Saturday. Great. Okay. What's happening? Meet Eric Stanton. Agent designation, Scry. Eric is a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent recruited at the age of 17 practically against his will. He has the ability to tap into one of the five senses of anyone he's come into physical contact with. Like a radio signal, his ability gets weaker the farther away his target is. After the Hydra incident, Eric fled to Bolivia and used his leverage and information to work in private investigation. Jesus! It's happening! Okay. Uh, money. Uh, supplies, first aid, uh, da, 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 da. gun, gun. All right. Shit. Who are you? What do you want? The end is near. Is this Hydra or is this like 10 ring shit? I've. Look. You know too much, kid. God damn it! We gotta get out of here. Entering the back end of his 20s, Eric has been alone for four years, pitting drug lords against each other and using his powers to pay the bills. But now, his spying has caught up with him, and he's being hunted. It's time to return to Los Angeles. Hello. Listen, I am interested in getting back into the fold and could use an immediate interview, and after that, potentially an extraction. Oh, you're an enhanced operative. Only level four, it looks like. There is a helipad. It's west of your position. We should. Okay. <laughs> Since the formation of the Avengers, many other heroes and exceptional beings have come out from the woodwork, introducing Earth to a whole multitude of cosmic level threats, including the immense power of six infinity stones. These stones were scattered across the universe at the dawn of all things, and within them control all aspects of our very existence. They've been fought over and sought after by many, including an ambitious, mad titan. A genocidal warlord working in the shadows of space for years. Hold on. Mr. Dickens? Ha 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 ha! 
Hello? Oh no. Ah, ah, my oh eyes. My God. What is this? Uh, is this uh, uh, dust? Lily. Ted. Oh. oh. What's you got, I I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do you need? What? Me? Stepping out with a master plan to end all suffering. Hearing this, you're one of the lucky ones. If you are a survivor of the snap, it is recommended you stay in England. Half the population. Uh, really? 50? Have they counted? Okay. 50% of all living life forms. No one is safe from the desolation. Flooding the sky, chaos. Is Exactly 50% of all life. And it's times like these I want to be born. What were they even here for? 50% of which disappeared in my And just like that, Thanos won. His plan to wipe out half the universe succeeded. They were all gone within minutes. And that was that. Avengers, Avengers, where are the Avengers? High up in their high castle, out in the scenic back country of New England, chewing on shawarma and cruising in their oddies, funded by the corporate shroud, the killer's weapons, setting up brick after brick to keep us on the ground floor walled off. You want to know where the Avengers are? Not saving us, that's for sure. They're calling it an Infinity War. Yeah, can you believe that? But we know the truth. The Avengers and Stark Industries and the United States government and the 1%, they're fine. They've always been fine and they'll always be fine. So it's time we stop begging for scraps and hoping to be seen. Heroes of Los Angeles, you heard me right, you are a hero. No need for no Big Apple or the crack of thunder at your fingertips. You sick of S.H.I.E.L.D. turning their backs on you? Then you come to the fort. Old Griffith, she's observed better days, but we're building a new timeline, a revolution. One where the freaks don't need to hide in the shadows. Surely you've heard of the castle, yeah? Think they got all the answers? They don't. Bunch of bootlickers, stark-loving, authoritarian, Orwellian, bullshit-spreading, Pigs don't trust a single Castleton, not one. Yeah, that's right. You want to make the world a better place? You want to see the corporate boogeyman squirm in their high-rise apartments as they look down on our movement? Then you come to the fort. Come get work. We're going to fix this city, and we're going to bounce back from the snap like it was the best damn opportunity that ever did show itself. Indie heroes, let your voice be heard. Let your powers be known. Assemble, 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 assemble. As per 20 Sided Stories fashion, everything in the 10 episodes that follow is improvised. It will all be brought to life with detailed sound design and original music, and is assisted by an original tabletop role-playing system. Each hero has two sets of stats, personal and powerful. The personal stats use a D6 and are represented by the six infinity stones, power, soul, reality, space, mind, and time. The powerful stats use a D20 and are represented by the official Marvel Comics power grid, strength, energy, durability, combat, intelligence, and speed. When you hear this sound, it means a character needs to overcome some difficult obstacle or test. One of the aforementioned categories will be called upon. By rolling their respective dice, they may succeed, they may fail, or they may land somewhere in the middle. Whatever the result is, we have to stay in character, act it out, and carry on. Half of everyone and everything is gone. Thanos has fled, the Avengers have failed, and for the next five years, Earth is a depressing mess. But in the fragmented city of Los Angeles, a revolution is brewing. Small-time crime fighters like Roulette, Bloodhound, and Scry are leading a new scene of superheroes. The ones who never got their movie, who never got their TV show, who never got their shot to shine. In the wake of the snap, there lies a colossal vacuum of power and opportunity, with devious forces aiming to take control of the anarchy. It's anyone's game. Thank you for tuning in to 20-Sided Stories. This is Marvel, Survivors of the Snap. Snap.